Welcome to the wacky side of history. Today, we dive into the absurdly amusing world of Roman emperors. From horse consuls to snake pranks, these rulers were anything but ordinary. First up, Emperor Caligula, known for his love for his horse, Incitatus. Guess what? He loved his horse that much. He made his horse a consul. Yes, a horse in the Senate. Imagine the horse neighing its policies. Talk about taking horsepower in politics, literally. The horse would often be asked the question, why the long face? My apologies, poor joke. I need to stop horsing around. Next, Emperor Nero. He fancied himself an Olympic chariot racer, but why stick to four horses when you can have ten? Only problem, he crashed spectacularly. What is it with Roman emperors and their horse fetishes? Nero was still declared the winner. Oh, the perks of being emperor and everyone being scared of upsetting you. Ever been to a dinner party and found it boring? Emperor Elagabalus had a solution. Release hundreds of snakes among the guests. Not your typical dinner entertainment, huh? If you ask me, Emperor Elagabalus was lower than a snake's belly. Julius Caesar, mighty in battle, but not so much in hair. Self-conscious about baldness, he started the trend of laurel wreaths. Talk about a follicle challenge. Who knew wreaths could be the ancient toupee? It's rumoured that Julius Caesar was the trendsetter for the modern-day comb-over. Just let it go, people. Let it go. Last but not least, Emperor Commodus. He loved playing gladiator, despite it being seen as unemperor like He even fought in the arena, but let's be honest, those fights were less gladiator and more gladiator light. You now know where the WWE originated from. Those fights were about as real as a politician's promise. There you have it, folks, the Roman Empire where being eccentric was just part of the job description. Thanks for joining us on this hilarious historical journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun history.